It's not very funny to make fun of me. It's We're not there. All right, so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you have a really, really big calculator, if you have a really, really big calculator, you could probably do this problem. 25 factorial divided by 23 factorial. Now, obviously, your calculators have a factorial sign. Um, but what I want you guys to understand is you don't need to plug in every single time to do the factorial. I'll show you guys where it is in a second. But what I want you guys to understand is this represents 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10 times 11 times 12 times 13 times 14 times 15 dot, 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 25, right? This equals 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 dot, 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 dot 23. Okay. I don't even have time to write them all out, right? And why are you going to want to multiply all those numbers by each other? What I want you guys to understand is, is 1 divided by 1 that just equals what? 1, right? 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 divided by 3? 4 divided by 4. So these are all the same thing divided by each other all the way up to 23, right? So really, I can just say this all cancels, all divides out to 1. And really, what I'm just left with is my last two terms, 24 times 25, which is 600, right? So therefore, equals. 600. Because the factorials divide out to 1. That is simple. No. Wait, so for that, all we have to do is draw. Yep. Because, watch.